all right now so now let's finish setting up our folder and our project so we can start actually writing code so the first thing i got to do is i'll come inside my source folder and i'm going to create two um, folders within it the first one is going to be components and i don't know what's just happened here but i want to create a folder inside source okay great so components like so and then the other one is going to be assets so another folder assets okay now this asset folder is just going to contain a loading spinner a gif like an image or something so that i have already uploaded to the react um mern tag styles so you see we have assets and inside of that asset we just have this loader.gif so you can just grab that all right so but as for me i'll just you know drag the loader inside of my assets folder so just drop it here like so aha so i have okay yeah so i have the loader then i'm going to create a number of components so for the project that we're working on we're going to have three components the first is going to be task.js so let's do that t-a-s-k task.js then we're also going to have then we're also going to have task form so let's do that as well create a file and call it task form .js. Then lastly, we're going to have task list. So create a new file and task list .js. So those are the three files we need. Now I'm going to quickly make all of this a React component. So we're going to use a shortcut, and that's because we have this ES7, ES6, ES7 React snippet. Blah blah blah. Let me just show you. So I'll go to my extensions and then I'll just type es7 yeah so I, uh, i'm not quite sure where it is okay this is it right here so es7 react um snippets so you can just download this react redux react native blah 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 and it will give you the option to you know use snippets so what i've got to do is in my task I'll start from my task. I'm going to just do RFCE and then I'll just create a React component boilerplate. Let's get rid of this. Maybe I'll just make this a heading 2 just so that it's bold. So, task. Then I'll save that. Then I'll do the same for the task form. So, RFCE. And I'm removing the React because I don't really need it. You know what i'll just save it just to save time and then task list refce and then save that as well okay so we have our components just the boilerplate of our components inside of each files now i'm going to go to my app.js which is my root file and then i'm just going to you know make some changes i'll import some things inside the app.js so first off let's just give this div you know what okay let's just give this div a class so i'll just say class name and that's going to be app okay then inside let's get rid of this h1 which we don't need i'm going to have another div that's going to have a class of task container like so tap that and then lastly we're then going to import the task list you see so i'll auto import that and then i'll close it all right so this is like our setup i'll go ahead and save and hopefully we should have that reflect in our react app here so you see we now have task list now remember i told you that all the styles we need have been you know created for us so these styles are coming from our index css file okay just hopefully to speed up things a little now there's one more setup i need to do and that is to import the styles for my react toastify which we're going to use for notification so I'm just going to say npm npmjs.com and there I'll search for React Toastify. All right, so here I'll just say React Toastify and this very one.
okay so the page is open so what we just need to do is to come down and just you know see the documentation come on this this package has one over 1 million installs every week so it's it's solid so i just got to come down here and aha so this is documentation so in our app js i'm going to grab these guys okay copy that and then i'll come to my app js and just maybe at the top i'll just paste that in i'm not going to be using the toast here so i'll just remove that then i will then grab the toast container so you see this toast container i'll grab it Control c and then i'll just put it below my task list div so just put it there and then i'll save so that's all the setup you need for react toastify when you want to use it you can just call it from anywhere all right so uh this is the preliminary setup for our application so in the next one we are now going to start writing code for the individual components thank you so much i'll see you in the next one all right so now the way i like to build projects is that i like to go logically from top to bottom so I'll open the finished project and this is what the finished project looks like. So this is the format we are going to follow. We're going to start building from top to bottom. So this task list is the entry point into our task application. So I'll go to my task list and then this is where we're going to start. So first off, I got to come here, bring this down and inside of this task list, I'm going to have um, a heading. So let's just use H2. And the H2 is just going to say task manager because that's what we have here. Then I let okay, let me just save that and make sure that we're on the same page. Aha, so task manager, we're on the same page. Although I think this other one is smaller, I'm not sure why, but don't no problem, we're going to get to that. So then the next thing we have is this form here, so the task form. So you know what, I just got to come down here and just reference the task form. So task form, like so, auto import it and then I'll close it. If you save that, then you're just going to see the task form text here. So now we have to build out uh, the task form. So let's go to the task form and we're going to build it out progressively, okay? So for the form, I'm just going to return, I'll change this div here to form tag. Okay, then let's get rid of these guys inside here and bring it. This form is going to have a class name of task form, task hyphen form, which we've created already. Then inside, we're going to have an input field. So input, which is going to have some properties, is going to be a type of text. And we're going to have a placeholder. The placeholder, okay, let me look at the finished product. So the placeholder is going to say add a task. Yeah. Come back here and add a task. Then we're also going to have a name. So the form is going to have a name, which we're going to set to name. Then we're going to have a value. And the value is also going to be set to, for now, name. We're going to have to bring that in, okay? as a prop okay then on change on change like so we're gonna set that to a function that will say we'll call handle input change input change now remember this value of name and this on change function of handle input change we, we we've not created it right we are going to import it as props so then also for the form when we submit the form so i'll come here and add an on submit and i'm going to set that to just a function that i will name add create task okay so create task now remember i said that we've not created all of these guys so what i got to do here is i'll just come here and destructure because i know i'll create it so what am i destructuring first i'll get this function to create task so create task, then I'll get this name, which is going to be a state that I'll create in the parent component. So name, then I'm also going to get the handle impute change. So handle impute change. All right. Then now we've created the impute. What's the next thing for us to do? We need to have a button. 
and that button is just going to say add for now so here i'll say uh button and that button is going to uh it's going to be a type of submit so type and submit then it's going to say for now it's going to say add okay that's it so this is our simple form now let's save that and see the finished project all right so this is what the form looks like i i hope this is not zoomed out okay so it was zoomed out all right so it's better like this so this is what our form looks like now the next thing we're going to create is this you know piece of uh text here the total task completed task so we're just writing the markup first so i'm going to go back to my task list because that's where everything is and then i'll just create the markup for this guy so i'll have a div that's going to have a class of okay let me just have the div first so div and tap that and i'm going to give it a class name of dash dash flex i think between and i'm also going to give it dash dash i'll add some padding on the bottom so that's it now these are custom styles that i create reusable styles that i create and i use for my project it's part of the css styles that i added all right so in here we have this total task and two so i'll just have a paragraph so p tap that and inside of the p i'll first have a bold text so b and then it's just going to say total tasks capital letter and then i'll just set that to outside of the bold text now i'll just give a space and just say for example one or zero let's just start with zero then i would do the exact same thing so i'll just duplicate this guy and then i'll just change this to completed task so completed task and also zero if you go ahead and save that let's see the final output here you should see some text okay so now at the bottom of this div this one that has this total tax blah 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 i'll just come to the bottom and then i'll just add a horizontal row so just a line save that and you should see that here right away great so what's next next we're going to write the markup for what a single task looks like all right so i'm going to come uh, just below the horizontal row and then i'll just import my single task so task that's the component and yeah so this is where it is dot forward slash tax yeah and then i'll close that if you go ahead and save then you should just see the text that says task okay great so now we'll now go to the single tax here and then we'll build out this markup or this structure all right so we're going to start by giving this div a class name and that class name is going to be set to task okay then inside let's just get rid of this h2 so inside of this main div now we'll first have a paragraph that paragraph will contain everything you see here so first of all I'll open that paragraph and add a v tag and here i'll just hit one which is like task one and maybe a dot then below that i will now maybe add like a piece of text so maybe task one for example task one okay so now after that then we're going to have this icons here so these icons one two three they're in a group and they're react icons so we're going to have a div that will just have a class of task hyphen icons tap that and then we're just going to have three icons here now let me show you where those icons are located there is this um react hyphen icons dot github dot io and you can search for any of the react icons so for example uh, let's say i want to search for edit <clears throat> excuse me and i think i use the fa font awesome icon so inside of this if i search for fa then i should just be brought directly to the fa edit so this one here so this is the one i used all right so all you just need to do is click to copy the icon and then come in here for example and just paste it in and close it now don't forget that you need to import it from react icon so you got to come up here and see import and then you just open your um curly braces and then it's going to be from then you just see react icons and then you specify which 
specific icon so it's a font awesome icon that's fa that's this first two letters so basically that's what you do now you can then go ahead and give this icon maybe like something like a color you know so but just to save time i'm just going to drag you know i'm just going to copy the icons because there's no point looking for it i already know the icons i want to use so let me just grab all the icons that i need there are three of them and let's come back to the finished project so you see these three icons here so first off i'm going to import them here and paste that so you see i need to double check edit and trash okay so how am i going to slot them in first off i'll just grab the double check let's start with the double check copy that and then just maybe i'll just duplicate this twice and then the first one is going to be double oh sorry the first one is going to be double check the second one will be edit and the last will be that one the trash okay so that's it as far as the icon goes now i want this icon to have three different colors so you see this is green this is purple this is red okay so let's do that one two and three great so i'll just specify the color property and that's going to be equal to a string string yeah so the first one is going to be green second is going to be i think what did i use purple e u r p l e and the last is going to be red delete if you save that now and come to the finished project you should be able to see uh okay yeah so it was compiling so you should be able to see the markup of just a single task so at this point we can see that okay yes we've created the markup of the project now it's now time for us to add logic to the project so in the next video we're going to start adding logic to our project all right see you in the next one then